Hey guys, my name is Nolan, and welcome back to the Hendon Farm YouTube channel. guys Nick here um, we're plowing potatoes this morning and I wanted to do you a real short video on uh, this potato plow uh, this is the Aldo Bijoli uh, potato plow that earth tools sells um, it hooks up to the quick connect um, we've got it set pretty much at the deepest deepest setting here um, and show you here uh she's at the deepest pretty much the deepest setting um i do have it angled down just slightly uh turn this handle and either raise or lower the attack angle i've tried it a few ways i've tried it i've tried this all the way down with the steepest angle possible here and i've also tried this uh all the way up in the flattest angle well, not necessarily the flattest angle. I've, I've tried it flat. In other words, uh, this right here level at the top. Uh, I was slicing quite a few potatoes in half when I do that. So I like it set just down. It seems to be working the best. It is quick connect. Uh, pretty sure when you're ordering this implement, uh, you order this piece separately of the, the rest of that. I think, think this is the tool carrier uh, then this is the tool. So, uh, Earth Tools will take care of you if you're ordering that. I did get the uh, wheel extensions put on, uh, and when I did that, uh, because this is a Grillo machine, you have to run this spacer um, to clear the nut that's in the center of the drum. Um, when you do that, you push the wheel width out uh, two or three inches total, I think. Um, nevertheless, uh, these are adjustable wheel rims, and so I had to adjust the, the rim to get the total width from here to here back to that range of, uh, I think it's 18 to 19 inches, which is best for the rotary plow. We occasionally run the rotary plow, so I wanted that width to, to go back to what it needed to for, so that I could run anything that I have. So I did... I went ahead and put these on because I thought when I'm when I was plowing these potatoes that I would need the wheel weights. Um, wheel weights are fairly expensive, and uh, I have not bought any, but I have not needed them. Um, you'll see here in the video when we plow all this last row here that uh, I'm not running any wheel weights, and the machine is going to go right down the row. Uh, this is a Gorilla G110. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? Um, I do have the differential locked when plowing potatoes. I want both wheels spinning. I want the machine to run straight. Um, you're going to fight it if you don't have the differential locked. Uh, what else can I tell you? I think that's it. This is going to be a fairly short video. So I'm going to get set up. We're going to plow this row of taters for you. And you can see, you can see how this machine does.
Okay, guys. So don't take long to plow a 60 foot row. Um, take a walk down the line here, and you can see. While I was plowing that row, I thought of a couple of other things that I didn't tell you. I'm not running full throttle. I'm running about half. Uh, and I'm running second gear. You need the momentum to keep the thing moving. I have found first gear, it's just not fast enough. If you start spinning, you won't get out of it. You need the momentum to drag that thing through the ground. Um, I'll get these picked up. We'll show you uh how many taters we're getting out of a 60 foot row Okay, guys. Whew, I'm out of breath. All right, that's it. That's the last row for this year. Um, if you're watching this video, uh, I did do a video of when we planted these. You can see what I did there. Um, if I remember correctly, we flail mowed all of this. I laid the rows off with the rotary harrow, planted in them. And then when they got ready to heal, I tilled the middles, and then we uh, uh, tilled the middles, and then we healed them with the uh, plow that goes behind the tiller. But anyway, this is this is about average what we've been averaging uh, in each row, full crate like this, and then uh, just a milk crate full. I don't know what these weigh. I don't know what it weighs. I hadn't weighed it, but this is probably 60 pounds anyway close to it 50 to 60 pounds in a crate i estimate so anyway guys that's it we appreciate you guys watching and if uh if you're not subscribed uh we don't we don't do a ton of videos but uh we do appreciate your support and we would uh ask that you please subscribe uh, if you want to see more videos like this uh thanks for watching have a great day see ya hey guys thank you for subscribing to our channel we hope that you have a good day and make sure to hit a like and subscribe and hit the bell button. There's a bell button, Daddy. Okay. And, and bye bye, guys.